Well, I'm back in my bathroom again. I really enjoyed it since I did the peel and stick DIY contact paper as wallpaper project. But let me tell you, what you can't see is that inside this cabinet, it's getting pretty crazy and cluttery. So I'm going to take just a few minutes before my physical therapy appointment and go ahead and declutter five things in my bathroom cabinet in just a few minutes. We often underestimate the power of five to 10 minutes when it comes to decluttering because we think of it as a big project. But when we continually take inventory of what we have and get rid of the stuff that we're not using that's kind of in our way, we'll be amazed at the difference it makes in our lives and how our spaces function. So I've been noticing this door hasn't been closing completely. So let's open up those bathroom cupboards and see what five things we can get rid of today. All right, okay, the first thing I'm gonna get rid of in here are expired products. My kids did not enjoy this coconut toothpaste. They said it was too spicy. So I tucked it away in here and put something in there that they like better. And time has passed. I tried it and I think it went bad. So I'm gonna get rid of this. Here I've got bum cream from when my daughter was a toddler and she got a lot of rashes, so we're getting rid of that. I think I found everything in that category. Number two, I'm gonna get rid of old makeup. I think I remember this being pretty dry. Yeah, this is pretty dried out. It's probably several months old, so that's going. Let's see. There's only a little bit of powder in here, but I just haven't been using it since I found a really good foundation. Here's some really expensive makeup, Omeana, whatever. Uh, it didn't work for me. It smeared all over my face and, and made my under eye wrinkles really show up. So even though I paid an arm and a leg for that with a coupon, but still way more than I normally pay, I'm gonna get rid of that. Disappointing, but I'm not saving money by keeping it and not using it. If a product isn't working for you, get rid of it. This is actually what I use now. Burt's Bees Goodness Glows Liquid Makeup. It's good stuff. I love it. It doesn't smudge or smear. Here's some blush I can put with that and have it more organized. And number three are beauty brushes that you're not using. I haven't used this in ages. It doesn't really fit in my little makeup bag, so I'm gonna get rid of that. This little brush is broken, but I actually use it to apply some hair powder. I use arrowroot powder as dry shampoo, so I'm actually gonna keep that one. Number four is unused gadgets. Now, I made two really silly online purchases during COVID, and this was one of them. It's a microdermabrasion needle thing because of the wrinkles on my forehead, I wanted to know, would this actually work? Honestly, I don't really care if I have wrinkles on my forehead. I have bangs. I'm just not gonna go through the hassle of using this. You can't give it away. So I'm gonna recycle the box and throw that away. Here's a toothpaste thingy dingy. We will use that eventually. It's not being used now, but because it will be, I'll put it in here. I can put the clippers in their drawer and some hair things there. Okay, so the fifth and final thing I'm gonna declutter are empty containers. This one's not empty, but I'm gonna make it empty and get rid of the container. Recycle the box. I just have less in my cabinet. These need to go with my travel containers. This isn't quite empty, but I'm not gonna use it because I don't remember what it is because I didn't label it. So I'm gonna get rid of that. Empty chapstick container. I thought I might make new chapstick, but I probably won't, so I'll throw that away. Toothpaste tube, it's practically empty. I'm gonna get rid of that. And a nasal rinse bottle. I'm gonna go put that with the sinus packet things where I keep them downstairs because I haven't had sinus infections since I went dairy free. And then I can put this in the wash. There, that looks a lot better. And now I'm sure I gotta rush to my appointment. So if you enjoyed decluttering five things with me, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up, click subscribe below for more decluttering, reducing overwhelm to live more intentionally and creatively. And make sure to hit that notification bell so that you'll know when the next video is up. I aim to post a new video every Friday. And if you're still interested in decluttering with me, click this playlist here or this one, and YouTube thinks you might enjoy this video. See you in the next one.